Previously on Kitchen Nightmares. Oh, my head's spinning. Legalaria 33 was the dream of sisters Rita. Oh my God. And Lisa. She certainly doesn't mean me. The daughters of Italian immigrants. They may have grown up in the restaurant business. Your mom and dad have a restaurant in up. Boston. Yes. yes. Five doors down. Correct. Right across the street diagonally. But right from the very beginning, this Italian eatery was a financial disaster. We lose money every single month. We're not getting money. Rita and Lisa claimed they had no idea why. I don't know how to fix it because I don't know what's wrong with it. But it didn't take Chef Ramsay long to discover you have turned the restaurants into something dysfunctional. That this restaurant was fraught with a number of issues. Whatever little customers you've got now, I'm amazed they're in here. The owners treated the restaurant like their own personal hangout. Where are they all going? Rita constantly smoking. And Lisa drinking on the job. Are you drunk? Also, they had lost the respect of their staff. They have no responsibility. They have no concern. As for the food, well, it was pretty horrific. Really bad. It's like someone's thrown up on my plate. Frozen, bland, and made without passion. What the fuck are they? Oh, my god. By head chef Doug, who happens to be Rita's ex-husband. I don't think you two should be running a restaurant. At dinner service, there were a number of customer complaints. It's really not very good. It's not fresh. And Rita decided to challenge the customers. Uh, stick your finger in the ravioli and tell me it's cold now. You seem like you're oh. kind of not happy with me. Instead of trying to please them. Oh, my god. And then the unbelievable happened. Chef Doug, in full view of Chef Ramsay, did the unthinkable. You just dropped it on the floor. No. You can't cook it. Chef Ramsay confronted the owners. No one has any pride. And while Rita listened unhappily, he's going to think you're crazy. Lisa remained in denial. He's a douchebag. He doesn't want to help us. I've had enough. I can't do this. I'm out of here. Leaving Gordon no choice but to give her a firm ultimatum. You walk out, I'm out. And now, the dramatic conclusion of La Galleria 33. You go. I go. Let me tell you. I I'm didn't going, sign I'm up for this. Well, I, I didn't give a Mr. fuck what you signed. Let, let, let me tell you something. I didn't sign up You for walk this. out, I'm out. Straight up. OK. I've had enough. I mean, I'll stay here today, but I'm not no, going I, I don't. Tomorrow. You're not going to come back tomorrow. I'm out of here. You know, get your sister out here. I'm going to tell her now straight. And do you know what's too much? Is none of you give a shit here. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I care. I you care. care? Yeah, I do. What, by wiping the ass of the chef like that, he dropped a chicken on listen, the floor. Listen. He picked it back yep, up and I started cooking that. it. I get that. But you just making excuses not for it. That. No, I don't give a fuck if about I him. I don't even it, like him. If I didn't Look. see it, he would have been fucking serving okay. it. No, he would not have. Are you deluded? No, I'm not deluded. We How do you know serve. he wouldn't have served it? Well, I know he wouldn't. So why was he cooking it then? What the fuck do I know? He's nuts. He's nuts. There's like a lot of people out here. Can we like talk somewhere else? Let's go inside. This is ridiculous. In here. I really want to go home. I need a cooler. Like, I, I okay. can't do this. No, no. You go, I'm going. I'm out of it. I'm not going to stay here and pick up the pieces for your business for someone that doesn't give a shit. Let me tell you. I do give a shit, but. So if you give a shit, then you'd stay and actually show some willing. I came to help. Okay, I'm just going to have a glass of wine. Ugh, it's driving me to drink. Unbelievable. What, what's happening here? She's trying. She's not trying. She's making excuses. Let me tell you something. Just I, in I, private. I, no, but just, just in private for two minutes. She's going to get slapped tonight. I'm not here to fight you. I can see the pain. I can feel it. But this is beyond out of control. I don't know what to say. I honestly, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I know, I know. If you know it, you must be. Don't get upset. I'm sorry. This just sucks. It's humiliating. I know it is, darling. I, I, I can see that. I'm embarrassed. This is embarrassing. This was your idea. No, it wasn't. Don't blame me for this shit. It's not embarrassing. This, this is embarrassing. I'm bringing it to your attention urgently. I want you to be successful. I want to be successful. Above. I do. Above. I do. I want that. You have to strive for excellence. I That's want the bottom excellence. line. Average restaurants fail. Listen, Lisa, we have to fix this. Can you just leave me alone? Unreal. Oh, my God. As dinner service winds down at the Galleria 33... What he's saying is true. Sisters Rita and Lisa have just had a rude awakening from Chef Ramsay. Oh, my God. We 
have to fix this. Can you just leave me alone? But Lisa still needs a little convincing. What he's saying is true. Sucks. And, and we you think our know, food sucks? I don't think our food sucks. I believe some of the things I think some of them could suck. be better. Could be way better. Frozen lasagna, there's got to be a better way. Yeah. And a frozen meatball, like, he's Ridiculous. right. He's yeah. right. I feel angry and embarrassed, and I'm, I just don't want to deal with it. I'm struggling to see your hunger, your I, passion. I, it's there. It's there. I'm just, I'm upset. Why are you upset? It's just like so up here that we don't know what to do anymore. Look, it's just, they don't respond to me. That's they don't respond to me. That's what I'm saying. We've got to straighten that out. That's one big, you're the owners. Yeah, we're what the you owners. say goes. I see two girls in front of me that want this business to work, but you've got to stop tiptoeing over the issues. You can't just say, I give up. I'm sorry. I, mean, I haven't given up entirely. Good. I'm glad to hear. It. Okay. Good job. Thank you. <sighs> the final orders are now leaving the kitchen. Tell me to put the rack of lamb back on the grill. Where is it? Excuse me? It's, where's it's the... almost ready. No, no, it's ready. Please, it's already medium rare. But just like everything else this evening, it too is painful for owners Rita and Lisa. You're going to overcook it. And not surprisingly, it's not working. Tell you that. Yeah, I will not come back here. Many of the customers leave unhappy. Thank you for your patience. Good night. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Tough day. Let me tell you. I've seen it so many times before. We can fix it. It's not too late. I'm here to help. I know. And at times you think I'm not. I'm here no, to help. No, I know you are. I know. But I'm you. not going to put a band-aid on it. A band-aid is not going to keep this business no. open. No, it won't. No. I want you to make a list of things that bother you the most that you want to change. Okay. All those things that you feel that you've been ignored, you've had the sort of crap kicked out of you. Okay. Get some rest. All right. And we start again tomorrow. New day. Good night. <sighs> Jeff Ramsey knows there is a complete disconnect between the owners and the staff. Peter, should we be doing something so he doesn't come in here and start saying? I don't know what to do. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And so he has asked the sisters to share their list of issues with the staff. Today, it's all about moving forward and changing. So we're going to host a staff meeting. Uh, Lisa and Rita, I would like you to address the staff. It's open forum. First one. The first one is, um, I would like for the staff to stop treating La Galleria as if it were a competition to see who could do less. What? Everyone comes in, sits, eats, laughs, talks. Nobody checks if the tables have been set properly. Nobody ever does this to the chair to see if there's breadcrumbs from the night before to wipe them off. So why would you come into work to sit down before work? And tell me you're tired. Don't forget that. I disagree, totally disagree. Number one, we sit after everything is done. We stop Sarah, that's after not everything true. That is not true at all. I personally, I'm sitting when there is no customer in here. There's never customers in here till seven o'clock. Does that okay. give you the right yeah, to sit you don't all know? night? That's not true. Okay. Okay. Sorry, that's Here's not right. true. You guys are all in denial. You guys need to own what you do. Rosa, how many days do you come in late? Say, every day? I guess. Maybe five times you came in on time? You're a real sloth. Joe, when I ask you to do something, like wash a window, you know the reason? <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Miguel, you scratch your balls in the dining room. But doesn't make me a bad way to scratch my balls. Come on. It's inappropriate. Listen, don't pick on me. I'm picking on everybody. You hate some people when they didn't do nothing. Don't give me the bullshit. If you guys cared the way everybody thinks they care, we would be really successful and he wouldn't be standing here. Like, nobody gives a shit. Is that true? I guess we're lazy, at all. Why are you lazy? Because what I saw, everybody not doing this, cleaning, this and that. I sit with them, I enjoy the party, and says, I don't care because nobody does. Wow. And honestly, I guess the culture of, of what I've seen has made me lazy as well. I'm not doing anything differently than the rest of these people. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I disagree. I'm not lazy. I'm sorry. Can I interject, please? Yeah. Please. This is what I see when I walk in. 
You are sitting there, Sarah, chit-chatting, drinking coffee, and looking miserable. No, that's not true, Lisa. And just waiting for the bus people to come and pick up the dirty tables. I disagree, too. You need to clean as well. You guys never, ever asked us, can you please just finish the work with the bus boy? Because for I me, to stay to one, that shouldn't have to be I asked. Have to ask no, Sarah. you guys don't like that. You have to tell us. Sarah, Sarah. No, sorry, sorry, yes, Lisa. No, no. Lisa? Wait a minute, wait a sorry. minute, let's talk okay. real. Yeah, no, we're oh, talking I, real. Okay. Listen to right. me, okay. listen to me. I'm, yeah. I only mentioned that because well, that's something. fault is that after all? Yours? No, it's me. yours. You expect everything to be done. This business, number one, is not under my name. It's under both of your names. That's why you need to listen. Listen to what I say. I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm just saying there are no rules, Rita. So don't blame us for that because there are no rules. There are no rules because nobody respects what I say. Like what? Let me just go down my list and you'll see where I'm going with this. Number two says... Point number two. Nobody sitting here can take criticism. Actually, Rosa can. She does like 5,000 things wrong a night. But when you tell her, she says she's sorry, but doesn't really do anything about it. Doug, why can't you take criticism? I do. You don't. You definitely don't. You don't. You don't take well, the criticism. The way I see it, I do. So you think different. How about seeing it the way the owners see it? Doug, when I say this dish sucks, you need to own it. What can I do if I don't agree? I don't care. You make another one. That's your job. You cook as if you don't want to be here. Watching the way you perform, it's a man that's just turning up for the check. I've been working here for, not for the check. Then why don't you say to me and Lisa, you know what, I want to make a special today. I did it, I did it there for Sealy, the other stuff, just don't sell. It don't sell because they suck. Those are not specials. The vibe in here is oozing negativity beyond belief. No one gives a shit. From the chefs to the waiters, no one gives a fuck. I'm sorry, I disagree. Wow. Don't take this like a personal attack. I'm just saying, point people out. Just I'm don't not, say you're everyone. You're taking everything okay, personal. Right. OK, just one more thing. I don't want to be the target whenever, guys, you mention something. I know you're a good waitress, you're efficient, you're fast. But I've had servers actually tell me they don't want to work with you. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed, it's to, supposed mean to mean that you are a money grub. And you hog all the tables. I see the people, you guys the ones who see the people. When I tried to rotate them, did you not, were you not the first one to complain? Be honest, let's but just, just be honest. But you are the boss, you wanna rotate, why don't you uh, just rotate no, actually, without that, that, asking? No, just I'm do sorry. it. I'm sorry, because she's not willing to make less money. Shall I give an example? of? When I hired you, you were told you need to pay him 20% of your tips. I tipped 20, more than 20%. This no. bus boy has never seen 15% from you. And that's He has it. seen it. No, he's no. not. No, ask sorry, him. Ask sorry. Him. That's ask not him. true. Ask Pat, him, there he is. Have you seen more than 15% from Sarah? Yes or no? No. I'm not gonna tip I'm not gonna tip Sarah, 20%. Sarah, hold on a second. Hold on, Sarah, Sarah, listen to me. Hold on, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah listen to me. Okay. Nobody's You're talking right. about when you make 15% of the charges. You know what I'm talking about? When you made $400 and you gave him 40. That's no. what I'm talking yes, about. that's right. You, you absolutely did. did. No, you I absolutely didn't. Did. No. When you someone's breaking their someone, balls yes, like this yes. and they but leave with $40, here, they got him. fucked right no, up the ass. Yes, they did. I was working my ass that day. So was he. If I'm here, I need to make some money. This is my job. You make me pick and choose, Sarah, and I... No, Lisa. Yes. Lisa. Sarah comes in, gets the best station. Sarah gets sat first, gets sat last. Sarah's making all the money. It has to stop. Like, it's ridiculous. Sorry, I'm going home. Thank God. This is a waste of time. Next time for you to fucking hit the road. Sarah comes in, gets the best station. Sarah gets sat first, gets sat last. Sarah's making all the money. It has to stop. Chef Ramsay has forced Lisa and Rita to finally confront their staff. I'm sorry, I'm going home. Thank God. And server Sarah doesn't exactly like what they have to say. This is a waste of time. Praise the Lord. What do we do about Sarah? The problem with Sarah is that you've left yourselves open because of the lack of direction that's been shown to the team. And the fact that she's a good waitress, she's got you over a barrel. She's got the reins. Yeah. You've got to take control. How? You can't be beholden to one member of staff, one chef in the kitchen, 
the staff are dictating for convenience. And that is so wrong. I'm to blame for that. That this is my fault. No, I'm not single-handedly. We both you are. Blame. You're absolutely right. You okay. both are. I am. How can you expect them to right. take we example? Lead by example? Because yeah. it, 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 it starts from the top. Correct. And a yep. fish rots from the head downwards. As owners, you set the rules. And anyone that doesn't coincide with your rules, yeah. they're out. I feel like this has really set a fire in me. No more drinking for me, no more smoking for you. All right. I want to lead by example and really start working to make this place better. You set the rules, you raise the bar, and you all follow it. OK. OK. I want control back. I'm taking it today. I'm taking control back today. There's only one voice, and that's the voice of the owners. So what they say gets done, period. I, I, I realized I was wrong, and I'm wrong. I'll do my best to not be lazy anymore, because it's wrong. And I want to improve myself on these little things that I wasn't good. doing good. I want to do much better. Time to change. Yes. Got it? Yes. Absolutely. OK, um, I appreciate the meeting. Right. Yeah, well done. Good Thank points. Thank you. Thanks. I love this man. Well, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. That was fucking great. <laughs> I love him. I love him. I hope he stays. God, please make him stay for like. Are you fucking out of your mind? Here Who's he comes. Up? <gasps> the chef. Chef is back. Hello. Okay then. I have a surprise for you. A surprise for me? Yes. Really? That's very yeah. kind. You want to see it? Uh, where is it? Oh, right here. <laughs> okay. Because you're gonna. <laughs> no, Don't I'm a scared. Scare no, no, me. no, you're okay. making me nervous. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping that you like it. I, I figured you got so upset about that tiramisu and nobody cared enough to make it for you. You made a tiramisu. So I did. I made you wow. a tiramisu this morning. Did you make it with Doug? No. No. I made it myself. How long did it take you? Uh, less than an hour. Less than an hour. Done. It is fresh. I hope you uh, like well, it. Well, the fact that we got it. Look at that. Um, nice. Are you made this this morning? Seriously? Yes, seriously. Yeah? I'm impressed. Mmm. It's nice. It is? Really? I like it. Yeah, it's very nice. Mmm. He likes the tiramisu. A winner. Uh, that's delicious. Good job. Uh, right, I need all of you. I've just okay. been... Uh... Uh, guys, come over, please. All of you, please, let's go. God, no one moves faster, do they? It's like fucking camels getting off the <laughs> desert. Let's go. Now, I've done a lot of research around the city of Boston, and this is a highly competitive area, right? Yes. How do you stand out from that competition? We don't. I don't know. That's obvious. We are like almost like everybody. No better, no worse. I think we are good. That's where you're wrong, young man. Last night, throughout service, I snapped off a few photos just to show you what your food looks like. Wow. What is that? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I don't want to see it. You don't want to see it? No, That's I not do. a good sign. I do, I do. I'm scared. These are from my phone. Oh, my God. Uh, Doug, what is that? Raviolis? It could be eggplant. No, it's seafood ravioli. Ravioli. Yeah. Actually, it's eggplant it's ravioli. Egg... It's eggplant. The fact that you don't even know what it is instantly scares the shit out of me. Crazy. <laughs> seafood ravioli. Let's put it up there. Yeah? Do you have to hang them? Oh, yeah. God. Yeah, it's a gallery, isn't it? Next. What is it? Oh, God. How did you say? God, parody, so. <laughs> Does that look like paradise to anyone? It looks like vomit. Vomit. Such a pie hole. You're not the manager anymore. <laughs> or the inside of a colostomy bag. <laughs> what is this? Antipasto. With balsamic vinegar spewed all over it. Do you think they do that in Italy? No. It's, it's only supposed to be on the tomato mozzarella. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, then someone needs to get to fucking Lens Crafter urgently. Next. Oh, please, no more. <laughs> oh, the rack of lamb. <laughs> the rack of lamb. Our rack of lamb looks like a sick animal. I mean, I don't know a lot of sick animals, but like a sick, a sick animal. That is currently leaving your dining room on a daily basis. That's like an abstract. That looks like shit. Everything we serve is this weird orange, pinky color. It doesn't look like food. It's, it wasn't appetizing at all. Oh, my God. It's embarrassing. That's your food, Doug. 
Na, yes? Ernst oder schafft er? Ja, ja. Let me show you some other photos of what Boston's best Italian restaurants are putting out. Tortellini of seafood. Mm. Oh, that's just beautiful. It's nice. Look at this. Oh, that's nice. Shrimp and linguine. It's like a piece of art. That does nice. look good. Lamb served in a local Italian restaurant. Looks nice. A little antipasta. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's nice. For sure. Look at the comparisons. It's just a better version, visually yeah, and taste-wise. Did you stop talking in my ear? What's wrong? I don't know what he's saying. And I'll tell you what he's saying. saying. That's ridiculous. Go on. The food looks better because those were taken as close-ups and these were far away. <laughs> OK, uh, no. No. If I had to pull out that one and show you this one with the bits of crap... Listen. Your food is dated. And there is no comparison. No, there isn't. It doesn't look good. Have a little bit of pride. Doug, are you willing to learn and raise your game? Yeah, I don't like to follow, like, people. I, you know, I like to do things different my way. A world-renowned chef is in here telling you, like, you're fucking up and you have no passion, and he's still resisting. I gotta look for somebody else. Chef Ramsay has made it clear to the staff the strength of the competition in Boston. The message here is that we want to deliver something better. But the real question is, has the message gotten through to the stubborn head chef? Doug, are you willing to learn? and raise your game? Yeah. Think that we can make it look better. We have to make it look better. Yep, <clears throat> yes. I know that the food that he shows, it looks better. And I want to be like that. I want to know more. So I'm open to any ideas. I am not interested in going backwards. That's not up for compromise. Raise the bar. I'm hopeful for Douglas. I'm hoping he can embrace change. Like, it has to work. It has to work. With more than 80 Italian restaurants in the North End alone, Woo. Chef Ramsay knows that La Galleria 33 needs to not only have a major upgrade in its food, just have a little gather over there, but it needs something extra to help it stand out from the competition. Oh, my God, look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here's the thing, as a new added feature, to La Galleria 33's menu, we'll be offering small plates of classic Italian cuisine. Something different, something that nobody is doing. It gives you that diversity, giving your customers the option to enjoy many flavors. That is a great idea. It's beautiful. <gasps> Starting off with homemade meatballs. Beautiful. Roasted chicken livers, blended with butter. Nice. Uh, and then truffle and lemon asparagus risotto. Oh, my god. And cavatelli done with beautiful sun-dried tomatoes. It's awesome. Small plates are great because despite my size, I actually eat very small portions, so now I can have, like, several different things. Dig in. Wow. Mm. Very good. Mm. Oh. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Mm. The manager oh. approves. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't imagine I'd be this pleased. I'm really, really very happy. Just good stuff. Wow. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like night and day. You can't compare the new dishes to the old dishes. Did you taste that? It's amazing, apple? isn't it? It's like comparing, you know, an apple to a banana. Both fruit, but not the same thing. Doug, don't look so nervous. You actually can make that. Absolutely. You can do it. Do it or be killed. <laughs> you know, that's his response to everything. Doug, what I need is your attitude to change, that you want to learn. I do. Last time we said that, you got divorced. <laughs> very wow. funny. <laughs> Does he need to be trained? It's a very good point. That's why I'm asking, because I'm smart. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> what you need is a chef in here that can help you. Are you staying? No, but I have found a very talented individual 
that is going to be with you to help execute these amazing dishes. Here he is. Get him in here. Michael, Success. come on in. Young man, Hi. welcome. Hey. Hi, Hi Michael. Michael Server. He's trained in some of the best Italian restaurants in the country. He's going to be here for the next month, training, working closely on a day-to-day -day basis with Doug. Oh, nice. I'm taking care of the check in order that he spends that time in here and implements that standard. I don't care if I'm here day and night. I just want to <laughs> learn. Good. That's the attitude I want to hear. Excited for the challenge? Yes, definitely. Yeah? Good. I'm so excited that we have a new chef. I just hope we don't scare him off, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> we're, really, we're very dysfunctional. I expect us not just to be another restaurant, but I expect us to be the restaurant in the North End. I'm very excited. <laughs> We're very I'm excited, excited to run this restaurant <laughs> with a different spirit. I don't think we're a horror show anymore. I think it's a new beginning. It's like new dawn. We're, we're going to be fine. We're going to be good. It's going to be good. I might still be a horror show. I, I don't know. I'm going to Gordon Ramsay's house. I'll be his nanny. I'll watch his kids. No, I don't really like kids, but I no. will definitely clean his house. I'll be his dog walk. I'll snuggle up on the bottom of his bed and keep his feet warm. With everyone committed to change, Put a little sauce on the bottom just to caramelize it. A yeah. little bit on top, too. Gives it that nice color. Chef Mike goes right to work, teaching Doug how to execute the new menu. Looks great. And later that night, Chef Ramsay and his team turned their attention to transforming the decor of La Galleria 33. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. The next morning, Sarah returned to La Galleria 33 with a new attitude. Today is a absolutely humongous day. And owners Lisa and Rita are happy to have her back, at least for now. Today is where we put La Galleria 33 on the map. We cement the future of this restaurant. I'm excited. I excited? want to get in there. <laughs> right, guys, you ready to see your new restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. OK. You're going to love it. Oh, welcome. my welcome, God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, it is beautiful. Oh, it really oh, is beautiful. Wow. Right. This is so oh, it's nice. Clean. Oh, oh my God. God. Welcome to your new restaurant. I love it. No more dark red walls. It's very chic, fresh, modern, and clean. That oozes that romantic feel. Wow. Gone are those hideous plastic oh, clouds yeah. on the wall. We have a new contemporary look. Oh. Quite sexy. That's awesome. Very excited to see those shits on the wall gone. Those were awful. It's so nice to see exposed brick. It looks great. Modern lighting in order to sort of lift. Our oh lighting my God. sucks. We love the it. It. And then, of course, the blackboard, this amazing this North End so map, <laughs> highlighting two of the most important restaurants. La Galleria 33, right next to Mum and Dad. Look at this, I didn't see the cool the bread cutting board. board. That's right. <laughs> so so cool. when you come in, we have this huge chopping board with La Galleria 33 that really stamped is on great. there. I love that cutting board. I, I'm going to hit somebody with it. Probably Sarah and Miguel and Doug and Lisa. It's really Abby, lovely. Yes. Yeah. I think it looks amazing. I, I think you have a very contemporary, modern, chic Italian dining it's room. It's beautiful. I love it. I feel like we have our own identity as a restaurant now. I feel like it's us. I'm excited to work here and be here, and it's beautiful. This is the way it should have been done. So now, instead of sitting down for 10 hours, we're going to keep it clean. It's the biggest night in the history of La Galleria 33. Guys, some words of encouragement before the very busy evening begins. And Rita and Lisa want to make sure that everyone is focused on the job at hand. All right, this is our big relaunch. Time for us to work as a team. Please don't spill anything on the customers. No ball scratching. Rosa, smile. Sarah, do not argue tonight. Don't oh, mention God. the truth, though. We're not going to yeah, argue. Yeah, no. Just do your best. Everything will be fine. Who's the boss in here? Rita and Lisa. Mm -hmm. Run this dining room with conviction. What's the special tonight? The, the brands, you know? Sell that, yeah? Describe the porchetta. The porchetta. What's this served with? Uh, you no, know, you should know. Describe the porchetta. Porchetta is a roasted pork. See, si. served on. Served on. Oh, oh God. Though, yeah, no. Yeah. OK. Describe the ozabuco. So, buco is a lamb shank. Lamb shank? You tasted it. I know, it. but I don't remember all the Really? Things. Yes. Veal, you muppet. Can I suggest? Just for five minutes, you take the menus yeah. and you talk yeah. to the chefs and you start logging that in there. What's all that about? Lamb. Lamb. What? 
I need some vodka. While the staff rushes up quickly on the menus, Risotto. the doors open for the relaunch of the Galleria 33. Hello, how are you? Can I have your name? Mendoza. Pat, you're pissing all over the floor. Oh. Good evening, ladies. How are you? Good, how are you? Very good. And uh, I just want to let you know that we have a beautiful fish tonight. It's called Branzino. Psst. Smile. He's, uh, he's uh, very good. And the risotto is unbelievable today. Okay. Explain the small plates. Small plates. Tasty. And, uh, we also have uh, like a small plate. Jesus you know, like Christ. To start. I'm going to start off with a small plate of lamb. Two other some appetizers to start. Okay. Arancini. So meatball, calamari, oh, yes. arancini. Rita. Bring some orders here so they don't come all at once. You okay? People coming in and I don't see orders. How long for the first order, please? I don't know. Oh my god, this thing. Well, we need some orders in here, please, guys, yeah? Rita. What, honey? It's not going in, I don't know why. Oh my god. This thing is not working. Uh, chef. Yes. This is, doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? It's not going through. It's not going through. Can we use the other one around the corner? The one over here, Sarah. Yeah. Try it over here, honey. Why is that not going through? We had them on this afternoon, didn't we? You okay? This has to be shut down. It's not working. Fuck. This one's not working either. Fuck. It's really stressful. Is it okay? Is it on? Not yet. I think this place is cursed. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Let's just use checks. Yeah. We need to regroup and, you know, and just keep moving. Paper checks, paper checks. Do you have yes. paper checks? Yes. Right. Thank you. That was great from Lisa to step up that moment and bring us the regular checks. Paper checks. It feels really good that we have a boss. OK, Michael, now there's no more computer. The POS system's gone down, and we do handwritten tickets. Uh, chef, order. Let's do it. With Lisa having a quick solution to the ticket problem. Can I give you an order? Yes. Michael, there's one here as well. Thank you. Chef Doug and Chef Mike work together to get the kitchen back into gear. You ready to plate that gnocchi? You got your small plate ready? Whenever you're ready, send it out. That's for you. Yes. We're going on that first ticket. You ready? Take this one. Thank you. And as a result, the much anticipated small plates. I have the lamb plates and the meatballs. Are now heading out to the diners. Wow, that's really good. It's perfectly fried. Very cool. I like it. This is amazing. I need gnocchi and chicken marsala. OK, we need a gnocchi and a marsala. It's working. OK, I need a uh, mantini. OK, let's start off. Salt. No, no, no. Look, come here. Why are you Rosa. doing that? Rosa. I'm sorry. I'm just used to putting them here. I know you're used to. It's simple, but you make it so difficult. Who's expediting tonight? Rita, sorry. The staff, they're just like a bunch of misfits. They don't listen to me. Do you want to go backwards or to go forward? Go no, forward. Right, get used to change, young lady, or go home. I really hope this fucking bitch doesn't mess this up for me. Chef, table two, anytime you can fire. What is it, Ma Miguel? Gnocchi, agnolotti, and marsala. Yeah, you got it right now. No marsala, he does not have that. No marsala? I have a marsala, yes, he's here. Marsala. Rita, he's here. The marsala. No marsala. Jesus Christ, Miguel, get out of here. I'll tell you what I need. Marsala and I need agnolotti. Marsala you need to speak agnolotti. to me. It's right over here. I get you just said no marsala. I need a marsala. Shut your face. You know, I can't, I can't yeah, deal with this up. fucking stupidity. Lisa, can I, I need one long time ago. They ordered the order deleted. Don't here. shout at her. Get out of here, Miguel. What is wrong with Miguel, you? Miguel, Fuck you. Attitude stinks. Get a grip and start listening and do I my thing. I am say. listening to you, OK? So no, you just leave me alone. I'm working this way. If you're not happy with me, tell me to get the fuck out of here. I will leave you. Hey, look at me. I don't care what you do. Don't start. I don't care. Don't you start. Okay? Don't you start. I don't care what you In front do. of these customers, don't you start. I'll drag you outside. And what? What are you going to do? Yeah, I'll, do you know what I'll do? It's relaunch night at La Galleria 33. He no needs a must shut your face. And waiter McKaylee's lack of communication with Rita. If you're not happy with me, tell me to get the fuck out and we'll leave here. Is putting the service in jeopardy. In front of these customers, don't you start. I'll drag you outside. And what? What are you gonna do? I'll make you respect the fucking owners. Don't start. No, no, don't start. So this is like my big opener, McGee. This they is what it. you do to me. That's two stinks.
It's like the lunatics leading the asylum. You're expediting. Yeah. We're just shooting ourselves in the foot there. We're just destroying ourselves. I don't know why we're doing it. Don't take shit from them. No, I'm not going to No, no fucking way. Lift it up now, yeah? Yeah. OK. Now, Lisa, the restaurant's full now. You raise your game and follow the waiters every time. Own it now, yeah? Yeah. Lift it up a little bit. Yes. Here, got to drive them. Regroup them, get them together and finish strong. What makes this fucked up is the staff. They're not respecting me. They're not understanding it's a new system. I have to beat them into that. Miguel, I need you. I want you to listen Make to me. Sure. This is really Make important. Sure. No, give me that no, 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 no. I want you to listen. When you call something, who's the one person you come to? I come to Rita. Me, See, because I get chatting confused. over Doug. He's in no. the thick of it now. He's me, busy now. Me. OK, I'll call you. Did this one I didn't find yet. They're still working on the appetite. But do they, do they have these appetites? Yeah, they're eating the okay, appetite. So I need I'm just to gonna... know because I need to cross. All right, so I will tell you when they're done yes. for the entry. Yes. Yes. Just take a deep breath and relax. You're just <clears throat> nervous. We can't revert back to, you know, the old way of doing things. Reader and I, we need to take the reins and get back on top of things. Fire two specials, a large gnocchi, and a veal sobuco. We got this. We got this, guys. Of course we do. Hey, listen, you're doing a great job. Rita? Yes. These branzinos go with one large risotto. Sarah, yes. Start to take these. Okay. Start to I'll take start these. Them right now. And uh, we have the lasagna, ladies. Oh my God. Welcome. I really apologize for the weights. This is excellent. It's good. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> and there was your agnolotti and enjoy the one. Right, so Sorry about the delay. That's okay. okay. The customers seem to really love the food. It's nice to see people actually finish a dish. They're not giving them oversized portions of orange shit. It feels good knowing that it's good, that we're serving delicious food and that people are enjoying it. You got the rocket it tonight. That's gone, right? Yep, so I'm just waiting on this and then all my tables will be eaten. Gnocchi, marsala. Thank you, chefs. Very yes, nice. Thank you. I think that's everything. OK, beautiful. I'm a champ. I am. It just rolls. My head is so busy. Isn't that great? It's wonderful to see teamwork. It really is. I took control of the Galleria 33. Doug, good job. Well done. We did good. It was hard. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Wow. What a night. Well done. It wasn't perfect. Yes, there were bumps, but we didn't give up. No. People love the food. And Rita and Lisa, that says a lot about your chef tonight. Doug really stepped up, really delivered, and you maintained your standards from the first dish to the last. So well done. Thanks. Very nice, day. Really well done. Very good job. In the end, the most important thing is every member of staff here tonight listened to the owners. And it wasn't the owners listening to the staff. It was reversed. That's the way it's going to be. Get used to it. That's the way it is. Well done. Give yourselves a round of applause. Come on. Yes. I'd like two minutes with the owners, please. Come over here. Come over. How do you feel? I feel wonderful. I yes. think that once they run this a few more times and that POS system isn't broken, I think that I think it's going to be fabulous. I'll stand here. What, what's the matter? You have two arms. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, here, 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 here's what I saw. Two owners uh, running their restaurants, not yeah. the restaurant yeah. running them. Yeah, now, that's important. It is. You've got it. You've got to stay on it, but you never, ever, ever become beholden to your staff again. Right. All right. Well done to both of you. Thank you. Okay, look after yourselves. All right. Yeah? I wish okay. you would stay. Just, yeah. I want to keep him. I feel like I'm holding a pistol when he's around. I just feel like so empowered by him. I'll tie him up to a boiler downstairs. Please. Stay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. I wish you could stay. What a week. <laughs> uh, I wish it was that easy. There are other nightmares out there. Bigger than me, you think? <laughs> Ask me that question in six months' time, I'll tell you. All right. Look after yourselves, OK? Yeah. And good luck. All right, thank okay. you. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. All right. Good night. Thank you, Chef. Good thank night. You. Good night, good night, good night. I'm so sad to see him go. I never thought I would say that. I hated that man two days ago, and he's just, he's great. I really love him. He really lifted us up. Sad. He's leaving. Mm. Well. <sighs> wow. This has been one of the most unusual, yet one of the most enjoyable kitchen nightmares I've ever done. And I'm so proud of how far these two sisters have come in only a matter of days. There may be one of 80 Italian restaurants in the North End, 
but to me personally, they're always going to be very special, let me tell you. Wow, Ozabuko, lamb. Are you kidding me? Seafood ravioli, Gordon, special. wait, Gordon, Chef Ramsay. Chef Ramsay, you can't go. I cannot stay. You can stay. I, 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 just like, just I, I, 20 more I, I, minutes. I, I can't stay Just one on so more. I, I can't. In the weeks that followed, Rita and Lisa took Chef Ramsay's advice and took charge of their restaurant. I want you to take the old Galleria out of your head. They not only set new rules, but we're diligent in enforcing them. This is definitely going back. This wasn't the way the lasagna looked. There was one casualty, however, and that was Sarah, who preferred her own set of rules. Right here, Chef. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, just like their parents, Lisa and Rita have a successful restaurant in Boston's North End. I just want to say that I was like a koala bear. Even though Lisa like expressed all her bitchiness, I was ready. I was yeah. a soft, cuddly koala bear, but I had my claws ready to go just in case. But I loved it. You didn't look like you had any claws. You I was ready. Up his ass, no matter where he was. Well, went. I wanted to hear what he had to say, everything. I loved it. I want him back. Where is he? I'm going to go find I him. I love him now, yeah.